modular control ring. It's a new feature that is now available in Unreal 5.4. And Advanced Skeleton now has a function that will let you automatically build your modular control rig. So let's take a look at how that works. We'll jump into Maya, open Advanced Skeleton, and open a demo character. Let's go with Tuna. So let's go ahead and just mannequin export our character here. We'll use the many template. And if we open that folder to take a closer look, we can see we have the FBX file as well as a Python script. So we'll jump over to Unreal, make ourselves a new folder. I'll call this Tuna as well. Drag and drop our FBX into Unreal and say import all. And then the steps to create the modular control rig for this guy is going to be that you select this node, which is the skeletal mesh node for the imported character. Right click and choose create modular rig. We then select that new modular rig, control rig. And we're now going to need to run the Python script twice. So making sure that control rig node is selected. We go to tools and choose execute Python script, browse to the Python script and hit open. We can see that the output says the first run is complete and it says op now open the control rig and then run the Python script again. So we'll do that. We'll double click. That opens the control rig. We can see that it has all the modules, but they are not yet connected. It needs to be open for this weapon. So I'll just double click on this window to make it a bit smaller so I can access this menu. And we're going to run the same Python script again. And that's it. We can see we now have the full modular control rig here. We got arms, legs, spine, fingers, neck, and all of it. To take a closer look at it, we can drag and drop it into our game. And we can see all the various parts here. We got the shoulder, arm, head, root, IK feet. And if we select that top controller, we can access all the switches. So we got spine, FK, IK switch here, as well as FK, IK switch for head and the arms and legs as well. And that's it for this time. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.